Hello, welcome to today's video, on the newest news on coronavirus update. Today we mention how long will the coronavirus outbreak and shutdown last. Though President Trump mentioned July or August, the prevailing optimistic guess among experts for when the outbreak will abate hovers at about two months. At a press conference on Thursday, President Trump addressed the question of the hour, how long will it deem things to travel back to normal? People are talking about July, August, he said. But that inquiry, many doctors and scientists say, is that the wrong question. We got to change the conversation from, how inconvenient it's to me, to, who are the people that are suffering most, and the way can we help them, said Sarah Fortune, a professor and chair of the Department of Immunology and Infectious Diseases at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. Think of it as a community service. Although life on lockdown is disruptive, experts say that it'd be the sole thanks to preventing mass death and infection. Public health officials say a coronavirus vaccine won't be ready for widespread public use for a minimum of a year to 18 months, taking us well into 2021. The primary trials started on Monday, and it'll take time to form sure the vaccine actually works. That's why of these interventions are taken to limit social mixing, said Dr. Nicholas Christakis, a contagion expert and a professor at Yale. It's so we reduce the force of the epidemic because it crashes upon us. If we are counting on social or physical distancing to hamper infection, the prevailing optimistic guess among experts on when the virus will abate is about two months, significantly before Mr. Trump's prediction. I'd say the start of May we're getting to desire we're beginning of this, said Morgan Katz, a professor of communicable disease at Johns Hopkins University School of Drugs. That's my hope. To make loose predictions on how long this outbreak and societal disruption might last within us, she and lots of other experts are turning to China. There, after the primary cases in December, reports of a weird new virus started bubbling up in early January. By late January, much of the country was in lockdown. Throughout February, there was an all-out war against the virus. Schools closed. Stores closed. Everyone basically stayed inside. But in early March, after about two months of aggressive containment measures, things began to change. The number of cases started decreasing, China's leader, Xi Jinping, paid a visit to Wuhan, the town at the epicenter of the outbreak, and life has begun to slowly return to normal. Yanir Bayam, a physicist and therefore the founding president of the New England Complex Systems Institute, a search institution that studies systems and networks, based his assessment partially off China's response. It will take a month and a half, plus a logarithmic correction, once we start doing what's needed, he said. But most experts, Dr. Ba Yam included, don't consider us to possess started the acceptable clock. Social distancing remains a recommendation, instead of an enforced policy, because it is in Italy. It's sort of a wrecking ball that's getting to hit the building, but it hasn't hit yet, Dr. Ba Yam said. Every day that we don't do something, it's getting worse, and by tons. Every day that we don't do something, it's getting worse, and by tons. There is also an issue of how the coronavirus will behave within the future. It'd be seasonal, abating with warmer weather. It might act just like the Zika virus, a mosquito-borne illness that causes birth defects. For much of 2016, it devastated communities in South America and Southeast Asia. Except for the past three years, there are few cases. It might act just like the 2009 swine influenza pandemic, which infected millions and caused quite 10,000 deaths which infected millions and caused quite 10,000 deaths. But now that virus is simply a part of our annual flu cycle, consistent with Andrew Picos, a professor of microbiology at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. Or it'd be just like the 1918 Spanish flu, thought to be the deadliest in human history. That disease, which killed a minimum of 50 million people worldwide, the equivalent of 200 million today, came in three waves. The second, which came in fall 1918, was far and away from the foremost deadly. Although much remains unknown about the timeline of the coronavirus outbreak, most experts agree, China and South Korea are on a downswing after aggressive testing and quarantine measures. The remainder of the planet would have the best to imitate. China showed us what it seemed like to be ready to act to prevent it, Dr. Ba Yam said. They've stopped it. We've to settle on whether we're getting to do this. Please refer to the next video we'll talk about malaria disease. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips on health, relationship, lifestyle and other helpful information to make your life easier.